Good morning to my Hampstead Baptist family. It's good to be with you. Thank you for joining me as we continue walking through 1 Corinthians. We're in chapter 15, and today we're going to do a small section, 9 through 11. Now, this entire chapter is looking at the resurrection, the importance of the resurrection, but Paul takes a brief moment here and talks about his apostleship. And we learn a lot about Christian humility through how Paul himself views his apostleship. So I'm going to read the passage, and then we'll dive into it. For I am the least of the apostles, not worthy to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me is not in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them. Yet not I, but the grace of God was with me, whether then it is I or they. So we proclaim, and so you have believed. So Paul is an apostle, and he's a unique apostle, as, as he had shared earlier, that he was the last of all one born at the wrong time, right? Paul would often have to defend his apostleship, and he does look a little different as an apostle. So notice right off the bat, he says, I am the least of the apostles. And what Paul is referring to here is not that because of his salvation experience, he has a lesser apostleship but rather he's placing himself in a state of humility. I'm not the greatest of the apostles. You shouldn't think that way. And now look what he says, I'm not worthy to be called an apostle. Why? Not because of a moral failing of Paul as an apostle. He's saying I'm not worthy because I'm the farthest person from who Jesus should have saved. Look what he says, because I persecuted the church of God. And then we get this amazing but... By the grace of God, I am what I am. We're that way, right? We are sinners. We, we stand so opposed to God's ways, to what God has done. There's no reason God should want to save us, but by his grace, he has saved us. So by God's grace, Paul went from being a persecutor of the church to an apostle of the church. God made what was um, greatest least and what was least greatest. So he says, by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace towards me was not in vain. On the contrary, why is it not in vain? On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, yet I, or yet not I, but the grace of God. Right, so Paul is saying, look, I, I've worked hard, I've learned, I've, I have preached, I have traveled, I, have, I am a missionary, I do all these things. But in the end, it's not all the work that I did. It's the grace of God that is so great. The grace of God that was in me, or that was with me. Whether I then, or whether then it is I or they. So we proclaim, and so you have believed. Paul, just as we saw early in the book, right? Perhaps you're just joining us and uh, you missed chapters 1 through 3. Paul has a huge uh, point in 1 through 3 where he says, there's none of this celebrity Christian stuff. There's no because Peter says it, it trumps this. Or Paul says, I'm not greater or lesser. It's all about the gospel. And that's what Paul's doing once again here. It's all about the grace of Christ. It's all about the gospel. It's all about the work of God and what he's doing. It's not my position. It's not my resume. It's not any of that. It's God and his amazing work. And I think it's a good reminder for us. And as Paul, it's, it's as though Paul as he was sharing earlier and saying who Jesus came to, it's like he's captivated by what Christ has done, captivated by the resurrection, and is forced to remember who he is before God. And I think it's healthy for each one of us to take a pause, to just take time, right? We're not good at this as Americans, but to stop what we're doing, take time, reflect on the beautiful work, the redemptive work that God is doing, and to realize our position before him. We're not worthy, but because of God's grace, we are what we are. We're saved. So I'm, uh, this is a short video this week. I'm actually filming this on Tuesday. I got my COVID shot and didn't want to uh, feel totally raunchy. Um, I got my second shot and so I didn't want to feel totally raunchy uh, filming on a Wednesday morning. So I look forward to looking at uh, the rest of 15, we're going to take a big chunk next week. So be ready. We're going to do a lot about the resurrection and what that means for us and the importance of the resurrection to the Christian faith. So thank you for joining me. Looking forward to the next time I see you.